welcome to another episode of Cravings Blog. I'm Karen Ahmed and I just got home from a long day at work and found out that a friend of mine is in town and is coming over for dinner. Now I don't have anything in the fridge so I pulled out some shrimp and fish and decided hey why not make a shrimp and fish biryani. Now if you've made biryani before you know this is not something you take on during the week. But I'm going to make this quick and easy recipe and I know that both shrimp and fish cook really really fast. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is soak some rice. I've soaked 4 cups of basmati. Usually I like to soak it for a couple of hours but I don't have much time today so it's been soaking for about half an hour. And I've got some clarified butter that we call ghee in India and also some spices. I've got a stick of cinnamon, 2 bay leaves, 4 cardamom and a couple of cloves and that's all going to go into the water it's going to cook with the rice. Now I also have shrimp and fish. I've got about a pound of, fi of fish and about half of that of shrimp and I'm going to cook both of those together with some spices. I've got cumin and uh, turmeric, chili powder and garam masala and all of those things are going to cook together. I've also got some ginger and garlic paste, onions, tomatoes, chilies, I've got some saffron strands that are soaking in milk and I'm going to finish off with some fresh mint from my garden and some fresh coriander that's going to go in at the end. So are you ready to begin? I am. Let's get started. I'm sorry you may not be able to see this properly because I'm using a traditional pot to cook this rice and the reason for this is I need the height so that when the water boils it doesn't boil over quite as fast because many times I just look away and before I know it there's water all over the stove. So I'll try and get you a close up but the first thing that we're going to put in is about a tablespoon of clarified butter and that's called ghee. So what, what's going to go into this is two bay leaves, a couple of cloves, I would say this is about 10, 4 cardamoms, these are green cardamoms, and a stick of cinnamon. They start to splutter almost instantly and when that happens, get ready to pour some water in. Now usually people say you have to put in 2 cups of water for every 1 cup of rice. That's what my mom goes by but I don't really measure, I just pour. Stand back. So what we're going to do now is just let this water come to a boil before I can put the rice in. And while that's coming to a boil, I'm going to make sure that I salt it. There's nothing worse than having rice that's not properly salted. While the rice is cooking, I'm going to get started on the gravy. Now this gravy is a little bit delicate because the fish tends to break. So I'm going to cook the onions first and then cook the fish, take it out, add the rest of the spices and I'm just going to treat it in a very delicate way just so the fish doesn't break. So let's get started with the onion. I'm going to take off about half an onion. Then I'm going to reserve that for the garnish and the rest of it I'm going to just put aside while I fry the fish. because when it goes into the oven and it's cooking with the fish, it's going to complete its cooking process. So it's half done, I'm going to take it out. Um, there may be a little bit of cooking liquid still in the pot, so what I'll do is I'm just going to put it in the sink in a colander and let it all drain out. Next, I'm going to add in some garlic paste, a tablespoon of garlic. Next, I'm going to add the tomatoes, some green chilies, and all of the spices I set aside earlier. So we've got garam masala, turmeric, uh, cumin powder, and chili powder. A tablespoon of each. It's all going to go in. A little bit of salt. Basically, all we're going to do is stir it up. Put a lid on it. I let it cook. About seven to ten minutes and we're done. They used to call me names, cheat and waste my time. Okay, so the gravy is done. 
And now I'm just gonna add all of this yummy fish, shrimp, with all the gravy that it has right inside. Gently fold it in. Try not to break the fish up. Cover it again. Give it another five minutes to cook. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is layer the biryani just like you do a lasagna. So, starting with the fish and the shrimp, I'm gonna put some gravy at the bottom. Now, what that's gonna do is when this steams in the oven, the rice is actually gonna cook with the steam. So, let's get that in. I'm gonna do two layers, so I've put half of the gravy in and I'm just gonna leave the other half of the second layer. Next, we're going to add some of the rice. So I have the rice ready to go. Remember, this is half done. Now remember I soaked some saffron strands in milk. That's gonna go in. There's nothing like biryani in the smell of saffron. So all that's gonna go in. The next layer of fish, shrimp, put it all in there. Another layer of rice. And the last and final step is I have some powdered yellow powder. It's a food coloring, but it's just powder. And I'm just going to lay it on the top. What this is gonna do is gonna give you a layer of yellow grain rice, which is gonna mix in with the white rice. And finally, remember the onions I reserved? That's gonna go in at the top. Now I'm gonna put a foil on it, so it's a tight seal. And we'll stick it into the oven at uh, 350 degrees for about, since this is fish, it's not going to take a long time. Probably I would say 40 minutes. And after it's done, we're going to take it out. And then we're going to mix in the fresh coriander and the fresh mint leaves just in the rice. And serve it just like that. I never cried a tear dancing in the street. And now all grown up, the stress is real defeat. Right now I'm going to take a step back and make a big change start today.